The cloth does indeed date back to the time of Christ and with artificial intelligence having something to say about the shroud as well. The fabric really does trace back to the time of Christ. And now, even artificial intelligence has something to say about the Shroud of Turin. Picture this, inside a massive supercomputer. Endless lines of code race across the screen as an AI scans millions of data points from a single piece of cloth. It isn't searching for a face or stains. It's looking for hidden patterns buried deep in those ancient fibers. Then suddenly, it stops. The system is locked onto something, a repeating mathematical symmetry hidden beneath the surface. It's the kind of structure no medieval artist could have produced, and no natural process we know of can explain. This strange discovery has scientists scratching their heads, wondering what it means for one of history's most debated relics, known as the Shroud of Turin. This 14-foot-long piece of linen carries the faint, ghostly image of a man who appears to have suffered a brutal death. To Christians, it's a holy relic. To skeptics, it's nothing more than a clever medieval hoax. And yet, Despite all our progress, we've walked on the moon, we've unlocked the human genome, we still can't come to a consensus about a single piece of fabric. Back in 1988, it seemed like the mystery had been solved once and for all. Three different laboratories performed radiocarbon dating and concluded the cloth was created sometime between 1260 and 1390 AD. Case closed, right? Except the shroud refused to stay in the past, for over a century. Details have surfaced that just don't fit the narrative. Take the first photograph ever taken of the shroud in 1898 by an Italian lawyer named Secondo Pia. When he developed the film in his darkroom, he discovered something shocking. The negative plate revealed a crystal clear positive image of the man. In other words, the cloth itself was functioning like a photographic negative, hundreds of years before photography even existed. That alone is enough to make anyone stop and wonder, how could that be possible? And that's just the beginning. The image itself is incredibly shallow. It sits only on the very top layer of the linen's fibers, no deeper than a few hundred nanometers. To put that in perspective, a single human hair is about 80,000 nanometers thick. The color doesn't sink into the threads like ink or paint. There are no brush strokes, no signs of direction. It's as if the fibers were somehow altered at a chemical level to create the picture. Scientists have tried everything to reproduce it. Burning statues, acid treatments, powdered transfers. They came close, but none could replicate all the unique traits found in the shroud's image. And then comes perhaps the most mind-bending discovery of all. The shroud holds precise three-dimensional information. In the 1970s, researchers at the US, Air Force Academy ran an image of the shroud through a VP-8 analyzer, a machine NASA used to map the surfaces of planets. What they found was stunning. Unlike a regular photograph, the light and dark areas of the shroud directly corresponded to distance. Darker spots like the tip of the nose were closer to the cloth. Lighter areas were farther away. Somehow, this centuries-old fabric contains data that functions like a 3D scan of a human body. From that mysterious cloth, scientists were able to create a flawless three-dimensional relief map using only a two-dimensional image. No painting, no ordinary photograph has ever carried that kind of spatial data. And that's exactly where the puzzle lies, a relic carbon dated to the Middle Ages, yet somehow infused with technology that feels centuries ahead of its time. It's a contradiction that has haunted researchers for decades. But then, artificial intelligence entered the picture, and it didn't just join the conversation. It blew it wide open. Scientists fed ultra-high resolution digital scans of the shroud into powerful neural networks. These machines weren't told anything about Jesus faith, or history. They had one simple task, find patterns. What came back was something no one can explain. The AI detected a hidden layer of information, an intricate network of faint geometric symmetries and repeating mathematical ratios woven across the cloth. Imagine stumbling across a ghostly watermark, a secret blueprint etched deep into the fibers. This wasn't just an image anymore. It was behaving like a sophisticated data set, and the results were staggering. The AI didn't just confirm the shroud's strange three-dimensional qualities, it revealed them with a precision no human eye could match, uncovering a mathematical order that would be nearly impossible for any forger to reproduce. Even more unsettling, it found repeating alignments in the face, hands, and torso, all following a strict geometric logic. This didn't look like the product of an artist's brush, 
It looked like the outcome of an advanced process, the kind we still don't fully understand. For scientists, that raised a jaw-dropping possibility. Could the world's most famous relic actually be an ancient piece of information technology? A message encoded in linen by means far beyond anything we can replicate today? Of course, the evidence of a hidden code only made the debate fiercer. And to understand why the AI's discovery rattled the scientific world so much, we have to rewind to 1988, the year the carbon dating test was supposed to end the mystery for good. Officials cut away a tiny sample from one corner of the shroud. That swatch was divided and sent to three prestigious labs in Oxford, Zurich, and Arizona for analysis using accelerator mass spectrometry, a method so precise it literally counts individual carbon-14 atoms to determine age. The results seemed definitive. All three labs agreed. The cloth originated somewhere between 1260 and 1390 AD, within hours. Newspapers around the globe declared the shroud a proven fake. Case closed. But the solution didn't hold for long. Almost immediately, independent experts began raising alarms. The biggest red flag? The sample itself. That tiny piece of linen had been cut from one of the most handled, most repaired areas of the cloth. Think about it. For centuries, the shroud had been publicly displayed, often held by its corners. If anywhere on the relic was most likely to have contamination, rewoven threads, or later repairs, it was that very spot. The Shroud story gets even more complicated when you consider its history of survival. It has lived through more than one fire. The most devastating blaze struck in 1532, scorching the cloth and leaving behind burn marks and holes. A group of nuns carefully patched the damaged areas and stitched the Shroud onto a new backing fabric. And here's the kicker. The sample used in the 1988 carbon dating test was cut from a corner right next to one of those patched zones. That detail didn't sit right with Raymond Rogers, a respected chemist who had been part of the original Shroud of Turin research project back in 1978, years later. He managed to get hold of leftover threads from the very sample tested in 1988. What he discovered under the microscope shocked even him. The fibers from the tested corner didn't match the fibers from the rest of the Shroud. Instead, they had been coated with a plant-based gum, laced with cotton, and even showed traces of dye. In contrast, the main cloth is pure linen. Rogers' conclusion was explosive. The sample used for radiocarbon dating wasn't original at all. It was from a medieval reweave, an expertly done repair job designed to fix the fire damage. To put it another way, the dating test had been like trying to determine the age of an ancient stone building by testing the modern mortar used in a repair. Of course, the results would come back young. This revelation cast a long shadow over the famous 1988 results, and it didn't stop there. Other independent studies began to support the same suspicion, using alternative dating methods such as vibrational spectroscopy and X-ray analysis. Some researchers produced estimates that pushed the cloth's age much farther back, closer to 2,000 years. One study even placed it around 900 BC give or take a couple of centuries, while another pointed directly to the first century. The problem? None of those methods carry the same authority in the scientific community as carbon-14 dating. And so the debate has raged on, with scholars, scientists, and theologians deeply divided. That's what makes the AI's involvement such a game-changer. Unlike the carbon dating labs, the AI didn't need to cut or test a single thread. It sidestepped the entire controversy over the repaired corner and zeroed in on the one thing no one disputes, the image itself. The hidden mathematical patterns the AI revealed don't depend on how old the fabric is. They are built into the very way the image was formed, which leaves us with an even greater paradox. Even if you accept the carbon-14 results and believe the shroud is medieval, you're stuck with a question that's even harder to answer. How could a forger from the Middle Ages, someone with no understanding of photography, no concept of digital imaging, and no knowledge of nanotechnology, create an artifact that encodes layers of geometric precision and three-dimensional information so complex that only today's artificial intelligence can detect them? The accuracy is so astounding that some researchers have begun calling it a kind of spatial intelligence etched directly into the fibers. A message, a perhaps, beyond art or accident. And that's the paradox that still hangs over the Shroud today. Artificial intelligence didn't settle the debate over the Shroud's age. It made that debate almost irrelevant. Because what the AI uncovered wasn't about years or centuries, but about something woven far deeper into the cloth itself. 
So what exactly did the AI see? It wasn't a hidden message, a secret code, or some medieval artist's flourish. It was stranger, more fundamental. The neural networks were trained to use a method called principal component analysis, a way of stripping away noise and distractions in order to uncover the most important patterns inside a massive data set. When the researchers applied this to ultra-high-resolution scans of the shroud, something unexpected happened. The image of the man, so central to every debate, actually faded into the background. In its place, the AI revealed a field of pure information. And here's the shocking part. The brightness and darkness of the image didn't just create the appearance of three-dimensional form. They followed a precise, predictable mathematical rule, like a physical law. Imagine laying a sheet over a human body, and some kind of energy radiates outward. The closer the cloth rests to the skin, the stronger the imprint. The farther away, the weaker. The AI confirmed that this exact relationship holds consistently across the entire shroud, with accuracy that left scientists stunned. That's not how shadows and highlights work in a painting. An artist uses technique to create the illusion of depth, but the shroud doesn't carry an illusion. It encodes actual depth data to pull this off by hand. A forger would need to be both a master physicist and a mathematical genius, and then somehow execute it flawlessly at a microscopic scale. In other words, it just doesn't add up. And the discoveries didn't stop there. The AI also picked up on faint, repeating symmetries and mathematical ratios, like a hidden harmony stitched into the image. Think of music. Certain notes sound beautiful together because of the way their frequencies align. The AI found a similar geometric harmony linking key features of the figure, the distance between the eyes, the proportions of the hands, the curve of the ribs, all of it seemed connected by an invisible geometric framework. These patterns weren't something the naked eye could see. They were buried under centuries of wear, fire damage, and the natural weave of the fabric. But the AI picked them out with clarity to make sure it wasn't a mistake or the algorithm simply imagining patterns. Like seeing faces in clouds, researchers ran controls. They fed the system images of other ancient cloths and known works of art. The result? Nothing. No hidden structures, no repeating symmetries. The geometric scaffolding was unique to the shroud. The implications are staggering. If the AI is right, the shroud's image wasn't created by simple contact. A body pressed against cloth would leave smears and distorted marks, but that's not what we see. Instead, the evidence points to some kind of force, some burst of energy that projected information onto the fabric from a distance. Scientists have scrambled to explain this. One proposal is the corona discharge theory, where a powerful electrical field around a body could imprint an image onto nearby cloth. Another idea suggests a short, intense flash of radiation, maybe ultraviolet light, that essentially scorched the fibers at a microscopic level. But here's the problem. Every attempt to recreate the image in a lab has failed. Some experiments mimic the surface-level shallowness of the shroud's image, but none can reproduce the flawless three-dimensional data or the hidden geometry buried in the fabric. Think about how bizarre this is. We're talking about an image so delicate it rests just nanometers deep on the threads, yet so robust that its encoded information has endured for centuries. As one physicist put it, this doesn't act like an artifact, it acts like a phenomenon, and that's where things get truly unsettling. If the shroud isn't just an artifact, but the result of a phenomenon, then what kind of phenomenon are we really dealing with? This is where the mystery takes a leap beyond science into something bigger. If artificial intelligence has indeed uncovered a hidden mathematical order in the Shroud's image, then we're left with only a handful of possibilities, and every single one is mind-bending. So let's step back for a moment, like we're all detectives at home trying to solve the case. What are we really looking at here? Is this hidden geometry the fingerprint of a lost technology? The trace of some unknown natural law? Or could it be something else entirely? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear what you think. And if you believe some mysteries are worth chasing, make sure to hit like and subscribe for more deep dives into stories just like this.